Well, the Philadelphia Museum of Art's 48th annual Contemporary Craft Show starts Friday at the Pennsylvania Convention Center with artists from around the country and even Italy. Craft Show director Anya Le Levities and ceramic artist Ryan Greencheck join us now in the studio. Guys, good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. This is such a gorgeous setup. For people who aren't familiar with the Contemporary Craft Show, tell us a little bit about it. So for almost 50 years now, the Philadelphia Museum of Art has had a contemporary craft show and all the proceeds from the show go toward funding projects at the museum. We fund educational programs and um, buy works of art and fund the Mary Cassatt exhibit this past year and we don't take any proceeds from the artists. Their sales are there. You know, their proceeds go directly to them. Well, that's so, wonderful and fundraiser. so helpful. And you're talking about the artists. You got some artists from Philadelphia. Talk to us about that. We do. We have a number of artists from Philadelphia every year. Ryan is one of those who's been mm -hmm. on our show a number of times. <laughs> and um, we have also uh, about 40 artists who are new to the show this year. Some are emerging artists, you know, young artists who haven't done big shows before. And some are just new to our show. So it's very exciting because we have a very high caliber show. So it's great to have new artists every year. Absolutely. So that way you know if you've been to the craft show several times you can see something new each time you show up now right. Ryan you're an artist talk to us about your art what it is you do uh, so all this is a uh, wheel thrown pottery that you see in front of you mm -hmm. so we were just commenting earlier it is like <laughs> the movie ghost yep. like back in the day okay it's Throwing all done it on, on the, the wheel. wheel all done on the wheel <laughs> like Demi Moore uh -huh. um, and then all these pieces are porcelain so it's like fine china mm. um, they're all handmade all these designs are done by hand uh, basically like a mug like this this piece you know it's all made and this gesture is done like freehand so each really? one of these pieces is unique yeah oh my gosh that's incredible obviously like a lot of skill and craftsmanship goes into this where do you get your inspiration um this is actually called the pollock series so okay. i think about like you know artists i appreciate and maybe like techniques or skill sets so you know he did that drip painting and thinking about that a lot yeah and basically the mug i just held up for you is mm -hmm kind of my gateway piece to everybody. So basically they kind of start there and then maybe they're like, maybe I want a set of nested bowls, maybe I want a platter. Um, also think about like the you know, holidays coming up, Thanksgiving. Right. Some people buy these as a wall piece, but they bring it down for their Thanksgiving turkey or like, you know, this could be presented with an array of sides or whatever you're serving at Thanksgiving. So yeah. it could be special occasion pieces or they totally. could just be out like, you know, just out in the open. And, or like a flower vase. Absolutely. Yeah. I was eyeing that. I'm like, oh, I could use that in my house. It's yeah, gorgeous. It's always the hope of like, you know, maybe somebody, since it's down in the convention center, they pop into the terminal, they grab some flowers and yeah. they're like, I really need a vase. There you go. I love it. So how long does it usually take for you to craft some of these pieces, specifically the, the mug? The mugs, honestly, like they're kind of crazy. I yeah. do like big cycles of them. So okay. like I'll sit down and make like a hundred or so. A so hundred? like, yeah, like oh, I'll do like goodness. big cycles, maybe not, you know, all the time. Right. But like I'll sit down and like throwing one, maybe it will take like five minutes, take five minutes to like kind of trim and, and do the finish work underneath. Gotcha. Then I come back, slap the handle on. And then, you know, glazing process isn't that long. So like all in all, you know, you're looking at maybe 20 to 30 minutes on one of these. 20 to 30 minutes. But it's like you're minutes. making a bunch. You're making a bunch at a time. Yeah. Um, so it kind but of varies. But you, I mean, it, it, they look perfect, right? They look like they could have just been made in some sort of factory. Um, you. How long have you been doing this for? I've been throwing for like 25 years now, which mm -hmm. is kind of crazy to say. Wow. Um, and then I've been a part of this show for, you know, well over 10 years now and stuff nice. have been like fortunate to get in it every year because mm -hmm. um, it is a very competitive show yeah um, and to be a local artist and be represented there is is amazing so. absolutely is there any piece that you're particularly excited about this year uh, I did kind of emphasize this collection yeah. and this style of work this like Pollock series because I am interested so we get like a, a 10 by 10 space each artist gets like their own display so you go in and you set up your own display so I'm actually really excited to see what these pieces like make like an installation yeah because I'm always hoping that somebody will like come into my booth and be like I want that in my house yes. and grab like a giant collection so that's yeah. always the idea there you go I love it okay so Anya tell us if people want more information they want to visit they want to stop by and look at the beautiful artwork how can they get that so the website is pmacraftshow.org where you can you can buy tickets you can find out the hours which are basically friday 11 to 7 saturday uh, 10 to 6 and sunday from 10 to 5 
Tickets start at $20. Um, they're discounted, obviously, for children and seniors and um, art museum members. Yes. You can buy tickets at the convention center or you can buy them on the website. Um, so there's lots of information there. All the artists are listed there. Um, and you have links to their sites as well if you want more information about the artists and artist talks um, that talk about some of the artists who are coming. So there's oh. tons of information on the website you can check out ahead of time. Tons of information, tons of creativity, and lots to see. Be sure to go check it out. You guys, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you thank for having you. us. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely.